right, so we're here in Meridiana at the Serenity, and it's a 55 over community, gated. And these are Gracemark homes. And we're just gonna see how Gracemark builds their homes. I'm expecting them to be to my standards, and I'm gonna relay that information back to you. Um, so, let me, let's go over here. It rained a couple of days ago, so we got a little bit of mud. It's okay. So this is something new, um, or at least new to me. It's uh, called a zip system. I looked it up, and it's uh, basically OSB, oriented strand board. Um, basically, basically plywood. <clears throat> but the green stuff tells it tells us that it is laminated with moisture barrier, so you don't have to have to have an additional moisture barrier sheathing on it. Yeah. So there's there's the zip systems so look it up i've heard some good things about it and then of course they seal the the in between the joints um, but they don't need to put any additional sheathing and that's your brick ledge right there so i like it it's good stuff i mean uh, i like the osb wrap they wrapped it completely around the house and so, yeah so it's all around the house so yeah i like it all right in the garage. Yes, I'm liking this already. Anchor bolt, anchor bolt, anchor bolt. They're all the way down. I like it. So anytime you see multiple two by fours or two by sixes butted together like this, normally you'll just have these. These are just to hang the sheathing and the sheetrock. They don't. They do supply a little bit of structure, but it's mostly just to hang stuff. Um, so anytime you see these, you're going to see a load transfer above. So that big joist right there. Let me just spin you around here. There we go. Um, yeah. So that big joist there is a major load bearing wall, and it transfers that load with the equal amount of material down to the slab. So you've got to have that. There's one next to it also. Um, looks like they, yeah, I would want them to nail that back together. It's no big deal. All right. Yeah, so if you get an inspector, uh, they'll take a nice picture of it. Or heck, I'll just tell the construction manager to fix that. But that's no big deal. Super easy fix. Um, lots of good stuff. I mean, we, we just got into the garage. Um, Anytime you see OSB, remember oriented strand board, um, interior of the house, that means it's a shear wall. Meaning, oh yeah, this is a good one too. Um, meaning it goes all the way up to the roof. It goes all the way up. And it's a shear wall to help, um, help the, the house from twisting in certain wind conditions. It basically, it makes the structure much more strong. And they bolt that thing down, or at least they should. Yes. So yeah, they've got these corners bolted and bolted. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Yeah, so that, that's a shear wall. And yeah, you can see it goes all the way to the top. So yeah. So far, so good. I mean, this is comparing to all my other good builders, and this is my first time walking through one of these guys, so we're doing this together. It has your typical um, uh, tech shield on top. It's a heat radiant barrier that's on the roof decking. Um, it helps radiate some of the heat out of the attic. Um, it's some good stuff. A lot of home builders use it. In fact, if you don't have that up there, if you just have OSB without that on there, uh, the builder's cutting corners. Right. Yeah, this is a nice floor plan. Opens up to the kitchen. And again, guys, this is a uh, 55 over community within Meridiana. Uh, it's gated. Um, you can see there's, they're building some homes out here. It's a little, I don't know how many homes they're gonna have here, maybe a hundred maybe 75 just in this little community very cool 
So if you know mom or dad that wants to find a nice place in Meridiana, in fact, you guys can buy a home here and mom and dad can stay here too. And uh, yeah, so these are really super. What these are, um, and you'll see, you'll see that one I'll run all the way there. Anytime you have a large distance, um, it's a span where you don't have anything supporting it this direction, then they'll build something like that. Um, it's basically a laminated pieces of um, small pieces of plywood. Um, they're thinly cut, but they're laminated, glued, and then put under super high pressure. And they are super strong and they're very expensive too. The bigger they are, the more expensive they are. All right, let's just look around. Yeah, usually they have the sheetrock um, laying around ready to go. Might be a supply issue, but um, yeah, standard stuff. Um, nail guard, anytime you have a wire, um, plumbing, a drain line, um, a gas line, of course. Anytime you have a gas, any, any of those mechanical rough outs, if they're a certain distance to the edge of this two by four, when they go to hang the sheetrock, they don't want that nail to go through there, so they put a nail guard. So they didn't have to put one here, it's just far enough. This one they did. So nail guard, good stuff. Um, and then way up here, of course, you'll see a big nail guard. You don't want nails poking through any of that. That is your water lines, looks like. Yes, water lines. So that's PEX, plumbing, P-E-X, um, cold and hot. And they are much better than copper. The reason being is they, they, they've got these super connectors, they call them shark bite connectors. Oh, there you are, shark bite connectors. Um, they call them different things, but um, they're super strong and they don't have very many of them. Plus the PEX plumbing, I can show you. Yeah, so the plastic actually it's expands a little bit, so it's less resistant to freezing. However, the builder still put the insulation on the exterior of the wall, even though there's gonna be insulation here, they still put the insulation there just for added safety. So that's a good piece of information there for you. All right. So this must be where your oven's gonna be because that's, anytime you see that, that's uh, 220 coming in. I wonder why they put that waste up here. Um, yeah, I th thought they would have put it back down there. Oh well. All right, let's see what else. We've got lots of good stuff in here. So there's your uh, your laundry room. And I'm seeing these. This is something I don't normally see. They're metal uh, conduit boxes for your electrical. Um, that's, that's just a light switch. I've seen some plastic ones also, but I guess they ran out of plastic ones and they're using metal. Um, this is where your thermostat, anytime you see brown wire, that's your thermostat. And it's a good place because it's here in the hallway. Yeah, so this is your laundry room, washer, dryer, that's your dryer vent. You've got a gas option for your dryer or, yeah, so Here's more 220 coming in. That'll be if you have an electric car. Okay, this is the master bedroom. Ooh, yeah, I am liking these straps. Um, bolts, bolts. Look at the size of these. That thing is meaty. That's some good stuff. A couple of nail guards there. There's another one. And of course, these are gonna be super low E, super efficient double pane gas filled windows. Um, if you've followed my YouTube channel, I'm sure you've seen me do this uh, many times, but I, I just like to brag about these. So yeah, so they're double pane. Um, they'll take that film off, it's just to protect it and the frame is vinyl, so it doesn't conduct heat or cold like aluminum would. 
all builders should be using this by now. All right. So if you guys have been paying attention, you'll probably know what this is. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what these are and why they're there. That'd be great to hear from you. All right, did we miss anything? I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, this is gonna be a nice floor plan. Not a super big house, don't need it. Um, we already walked through the garage over there. There's a the front door. This is your living area, your breakfast area. It's a really great layout. Nice high ceilings, um, recessed lights. Great, all right. So far I am impressed. All right, so uh, again, we're at Meridiana Grace Mark Homes. This is their 55 community. It's gonna be gated. Um, I think they probably maybe have 100 homes in here. Um, relatively small, not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of homes. Um, so again, Grace Mark 55 community. And uh, this is my first time walking through one, um, a Grace Mark home. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed. They're doing everything every good builder should be doing. Uh, for this reason, they're they're strapping the the, the, the edges together of, of the home. They've got the shear wall. We talked about that. Um, so, if you guys are looking to get your parents or mother-in-law um, in a nice home in Meridiana, make sure you give me a call and I'll show them around these Grace Mark homes. I like them. We'll see you.